Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and welcome back to a hopefully not very long episode of Pascal's Wager. Um, we are deep within the Cursed Caves, uh, and we are at the entrance to the final area, which is the Colossus Graveyard. Um, you may notice a slight change where I've gotten everyone back into their default costumes uh, for reasons that will become or should become very apparent <laughs> should this episode ever make it to air, which I'm hopeful that it does. Um, and I only say that is because uh, while I have faced off the end boss in this game before, I have not yet beaten it. Um, there's one part in the fight where they come out with a one-hit kill maneuver, uh, and I just haven't gotten past that particular part yet. But you know what? Maybe we've learned a few things uh, over our journey in this series, so uh, fingers crossed. We'll just sort of see what happens once we get in there and start, start up the battle. Uh, while we're here, though, We'll take one final look. Uh, I've changed out my loadout in terms of stuff. Um, I think I got three healing items. Uh, I did use Benita's Bless to do all my, um, what is it, health potions. Uh, what do we got here? And will it even show? It should. And if it doesn't, Blessed Elixir of Health. Okay, so I did that. Uh, I think I got a couple of full uh, rejuvenations, and then I got healing over time. Uh, they can't stack or anything, but I'm hoping that I won't have to dip into those an awful lot. Uh, I also have, like, three throwing weapons. Uh, so, <laughs> just sort of get my load out. I didn't need, like, the... Um, the jellyfish jar for keeping sandy duty levels it's not going to make a difference now in this late of this later the game uh and we'll just sort of take a look at my loadout um three of these trophies i've gotten from the dark mist so bloodthirsty eye plus four uh and like i was saying in the last episode anything that says greatly increased is better off than uh moderately or slightly obviously um, but the base stats, uh, crit rate, crit damage, and attack versus humanoid, not that bad. But, you know, attack is greatly increased while in abnormal state. Well, abnormal is our sort of piece de resistance because of the um, Milos bottle. Um, this is about as high as it can get just because I haven't been getting uh, the condensed honey. So uh, it's capped off with an attack buff, crit damage, crit rate. Uh, will rename and abnormal state. Uh, enhancing and reforging is not uh, uh, is not possible. But we sort of already knew that. Uh, Alright, so running out our scars, we got the Basilisk Empathy. Uh, I did increase it all the way to plus 5, so crit damage, attack versus central, and I slapped on the attack, fortunately, uh, and it will regenerate health after landing successful hits, which keeps us from using um, health potions, so that's always good. Uh, Stag Rings, also a Dark Mist trophy, uh, plus three gives stamina, uh, stamina regen and crit rate. Uh, and will up resistances greatly while in abnormal. Going over to the resistance side, um, we may change this out. Black Man Manus, uh, plus five, uh, stamina regen, health, and stamina. Uh, automatic collection of items. This was a hidden trophy in Blessed Land. Uh, I caught wind of it and grabbed it right away just because it made collecting stuff for this particular episode a little bit easier. Uh, so like I said, we may not have to go in with this. We'll see if I have anything uh, better in a moment. Uh, and then Prison Poison Arrow Leaf plus four, Dark Mist Trophy, Health Element Resistance, and Poison Resistance with Defense greatly increased while in Abnormal. 
All right, and then after some consideration, I'm actually going to stick on this first seed plus one. Uh, it gives boost to health, defense, and elemental resistance and regenerates uh, stamina. I'm not too worried about the stamina. I'm mostly taking this for the defense stat. Um, again, we'll just sort of see what happens if I need to change out after or in between battles. I guess I will, but for now, it is what it is. Right, guys? Right. Uh, so we've spoken to everyone, we've gotten everyone's sort of side quest taken care of. I took care of Benita's off camera. So all their sort of side missions where I'm collecting stuff for their sort of contracts have been fulfilled. All that's really left is entering here. Uh, so let's get on with it. Do we want to enter the Colossal? Wait, no! Uh, actually, we do. You will not be able to return to Solas after entering. The final saved location will will be the Disciple Ruins. Continue? Uh, sure. Which I believe is just outside here, so that was the last save point that we created. Grabbing hands. Grab all they can. here. Lunatic. Well, uh, well, I guess we're in lunacy. the truth.
almost pretty. One thing I didn't realize until I... Uh, like I was saying, uh, one thing I didn't realize until I was partly through this uh, playthrough was the uh, Colossi, the giant orb light headed creatures. Um, they're actually creatures. I didn't think they were. Uh, so, yeah, the story is pretty in depth, and uh, I can understand that uh, it's easy to get lost in. Um, I don't know if that's sort of like a translation thing or not, but. Uh, uh, it is intriguing. I'll say that. Uh, I would definitely uh, continue in with uh, this world, given a chance. before. We sacrificed that innocent Martian girl and broke into the territory of God. Then we drank the water of taboo that turned ourselves into this mess. We have sinned, and that's what we deserved. <laughs> you do you, lady. When tears are dried and time stops, I should be still waiting for someone. But I can't remember who I'm waiting for. It might be a sweet death that free me from the obsession. Uh, right, the obsession. We're all a little obsession bound. I'm so sorry for that Martian girl. She was betrayed from the world she belonged and became a ghost. Wandering this place. The innocent girl opened the gate to light. And became one with light. Mm, tell me more. What am I looking for? What am I waiting for? That's probably not important. Please take this for me. Okie dokie. Someone was fortunate enough to escape from this place. If you are also one of the chosen ones, find a person who recognized this praise for me and pass my message. I had been waiting for you right here. You got it. I have a bracelet now. Uh, all right, yeah, that was the only thing left, so we're on to the end fight.
not my beautiful wife. Let's make this obsession into a notch. Quiet, just in concentration mode here. <laughs> first, uh, first farm here isn't too difficult. Just gotta keep away from. from people who will do me harm. She forms this stupid cloud of birds. form.
really actually seen that before. <laughs> so uh, we're going to give this another retry. It didn't seem so bad up until then. Uh, I thought it was more of a dash attack that just sort of killed you outright. But uh, let's give it another shot and see what happens. Was this altar always here? Maybe it'll respawn us there rather than at the beginning of the level. Anywho, let's go and see.
know. Again, <laughs> much like everything else, like you, it seems easier just to accept it rather than to refuse. So, sure, I'll drink. Chug it, come on! Go to the last drop. Right now to peep out of any of you good guys. Credits rolling on Pascal's wager. Oh boy, I didn't actually think I'd pull it off, but <laughs> uh, I might actually leave it in there. Two fights uh, against uh, the first messenger, which is uh, Teresa Possessed. Um, fabulous game. I can't recommend it um, enough, uh, especially if you're on mobile. Uh, if you have ever gotten into anything that is like a Dark Souls type game, whether Dark Souls or something else familiar to it, um, pick this up. Uh, one of the things I really enjoyed was the fact that it did have a casual mode. I'm not going to be, um, well, I'll be honest, I'm not the best game player nowadays as I was once back in my youth. Um, but uh, having something where I can just sort of go in and, and I can enjoy the story, I can enjoy 
um, creating or, or acquiring these characters and leveling them up and, and outfitting them with different abilities and whatnot. Um, at least it gave me an opportunity to sort of play the game in earnest and I didn't have to be that good in order to sort of progress. Um, and if other uh, games, whether Dark Souls, I don't recall Dark Souls proper ever getting some sort of like casual mode, but if any of the other ones, uh, like two or three or beyond, have gotten a, a casual mode or a mode easier for for new players to sort of come into, uh, leave me a comment in, in the uh, leave me a, a comment as saying as such because uh, it'd be nice to know, um, especially if I would, wanted to sort of tackle those again. Um, but no, I thoroughly enjoyed this, and I think anyone who is on mobile will enjoy it as well. Again, doesn't really cost an awful lot of money, uh, or even to get all the DLC. And if uh, tip works, tips works. Um, <laughs> uh, I I started following them on social media, and I would really love to see a follow up to this. And here we have more feathers. Birds of a feather. I was going to say another intro of Forced Gump or something. Oh, Blowy Head is going to have a drink now. Or is that me and Teresa? Pascal's Wager, do you wish to embark on a new journey? If you choose no, this will be sent back to the stage. Before the final battle, you can start a new journey by speaking to Glenn's Owl in the carriage. Uh, okay. Hmm. Do I or don't I? That's... I'm going to say no for now. Um, I'm sure I can go back in and... Uh, Controller turned off, waiting for it to end. Let's turn it back on. There we go. Uh, I'm going to say no for now. Uh, you'll be sent back to the stage right before the final battle. You can continue your adventure in Soul Ass. Yes. Uh, we. Uh, uh, okay. A little confused there. Yep, and here we are right before, or right when this story just sort of began. So, I said, oh. Can we not, uh, oh, I guess we have to, maybe we have to exit and come back. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I didn't want to start a new journey because we still have the DLC to cover. So, uh, what I may do, I'll take a little break from Pascal's Wager. Uh, been hitting it pretty heavy since Halloween last year um, so it may be a good time now to sort of take a break from it but uh, sometime soon won't be too far off uh, I would like to go through the uh, DLC campaign it may not be very long I really don't know I haven't done it before uh, but I am gonna turn the cameras back on and take you guys along for the ride once I do uh, until then uh, we'll just sort of hold steady with the uh, with everything as seen here, and uh, yeah, um, interesting, interesting stuff. But uh, love the game, love the fact that I have now completed the main storyline, and uh, love the fact that uh, I was able to record it all and uh, make it available for everyone to see. So if you have enjoyed the complete 
Pascal's Wager series, please hit that like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, including future episodes of the Pascal's Wager DLC. Uh, but we'll be heading into some other playthroughs before we get to that. Uh, but don't worry, it will be coming soon enough. This has been Shrin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and thank you to Tipsworks and Giant Games for Pascal's Wager. Um, love this game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.